Here's another quick flavor secrets technique, something that's possibly been puzzling you. What I'm going to show you today has to do with washing parsley and making it sprinkle really nicely. This is Italian flat leaf parsley, looks like this, and what I've done is I've just picked off the leaves. We don't want to include the stems because the stems can be a little bit bitter. Okay, so I've made a little pile of leaves, and then to chop it, we want to use the, the French roll technique, which is holding the tip of the knife down, making a claw with your hand, and then just quickly chopping through the parsley. You need to go through this several times. Look at the difference between this and this. This is one chopping. This is about eight or ten choppings. So I'm just going to continue. You can also put your hand on the top of the knife and do it really quickly this way. Continue going through, going through, going through. I've already chopped some here, so for the moment we'll use that pile. So you can see that this parsley is all clumpy and it doesn't sprinkle well. So what I'm going to show you will change that. Just take a, a clean washcloth or something that's a little bit thick. Don't use too thin of a towel for this because it'll tear. Don't ask me how I know that. So just take, I think a washcloth is probably the best thing I can recommend to you, and roll up the parsley inside it. Then turn on the cold water and get it wet. Now I know this seems counterproductive. It seems like if you have something that's too moist, doing this wouldn't dry it, it would just make it worse, but in fact it makes it better. So what I'm doing is I'm letting the cold water soak the towel and then I'm wringing it. And as I'm wringing it, you can see this green coming out and that's the chlorophyll coming out. It's what causes the parsley to clump together. So now when I open it up, voila, the parsley is dry and sprinkled beautifully. You can use it for a great garnish. Its color is beautiful, it makes a nice contrast, and it's also really tasty. So this has been another quick Flavor Secrets technique. Thanks for joining us.